hello beautiful welcome to today's video thank you so much for being here if you're new here hello hello my name is Cosmina and on this channel we usually like to play with a lot of makeup do some uh, reviews do some rankings things like that and then open some uh, mystery boxes and so if you're interested in that please consider to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it in today's video as you've seen from our cheeky introduction we're gonna play and we're gonna talk about an eyeshadow palette that recently was released and that was Haunted Europe by Nomad Cosmetics. This is an insane eyeshadow palette and we're gonna create this a beautiful look that I have on today. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and keep on watching. So this eyeshadow palette, I was so intrigued by because it was talking about Haunted Europe and as you know, I am from Europe and one of the eyeshadows or as Brand Castle, which is in Romania, where I'm from. So I really wanted to grab this. It was more like a personal thing for me. So this is $44. They usually do have 10% off um, on their website when you go and shop. So you can get 10% off as well. If not, just put Trendwood's uh, code. I think that still works. And it says, join us to hunt the Discover Europe's most spectacular scary tales. Interest, a intensely rich and delightful lavish 18 eyeshadow formulated with extra fine pigments, nine ravishing mattes, nine picturesque shimmers inspired by the dark fairy tales of medieval Europe, infused with bilberry seed oil to help restore skin for crisp proof color, cruelty free and vegan. Absolutely interesting absolutely amazing to read that also it says five percent of the cells donated to bat conservation international so that is another cool thing about this but it is absolutely beautiful it has a lot of beautiful shades in here uh let me read some of these i'm not good at pronouncing all of these so excuse me if i do not pronounce them correctly so let's go through them. We have uh, Mary King Clothes, Boogeyman, The Catacombs, Hauske Castle, Frankish Time, Dracolholm Castle, Highgate Cemetery, Grenville, Mary Cemetery, Hoya Bachu Forest, Big Bad Wolf, Black Forest, Ghost River, Krampus, Grand Castle, Bloody Mary, Camp Dracula, and Spadow Citadel. I have played with this before and I created some um, different looks, but this is a really interesting and how dare I say unique, unique um, color story. You have a bunch of grungy uh, colors on this side right here. And then in the middle, you have some greens and then you get some orange and you get some golds in here. These are some really unique and beautiful shades in here. And I really like the way they, uh, I really like the way they swatch. Very, very interesting and very beautiful. So go ahead and keep on watching to see how I came up with this eye look and then at the end I'll give you all my opinion. So let's get to it. In today's video I definitely want to go with something that is a little bit more natural looking. So we're gonna go with something nice. Hopefully, it's going to come up something nice. You already seen how it looks, but I don't know. So, we're going to start with Spando Citadel, I guess it's called. And this is a nice, beautiful brown. So, I'm just going to go with this one and just kind of apply it all over the lid. I applied on my lid a little bit of foundation, um, but that's it. I don't want to go with anything else. And we'll see how it's going to go on that. I usually, that's how I like to try on my eyeshadow palettes without putting anything primer wise to underneath it to just kind of tell exactly how I like it. If I like the eyeshadow, if I like how it blends without any helpers. 
and uh, I have tried this uh, eyeshadow palette a little bit before like I created two different looks with it so I'm gonna put them on the screen so you can see it but um, I do like it and I am uh, hoping it's gonna be the same experience with every shadow but this uh, brown I have to say it looks absolutely gorgeous and it blends like nobody's business and it is really really nice against my skin tone it looks very similar to what the pan looks like just a little bit a little bit more washed out but not by much next i want to go with frankenstein which is the orange uh from this eyeshadow palette and very very easy to blend look how beautiful it blends with the other shade so the only thing that i would have to say negative about this uh these shades, I would have to say that it's a little bit not as intense as I would think they would be, but they are very beautiful, very blendable as well. So here we go. Very, very, very nice so far. Now from here, I really don't know where I want to go with this. I'm thinking I might just do a little bit of dark, something dark in as well so i'm just gonna go with the drag drags drags home castle which is this one right here so i'm just gonna add a little bit of this right in the sides for a little bit of dimension and then we're gonna go with something sparkly in the middle but i'm not gonna add a lot about a lot of this drum drag drag i cannot say this word drags home castle there you go i'm just gonna add a little bit more over here so one thing that is nice that the fact that is not as uh pigmented is the fact that is very forgiving so that's a nice thing so look at that that is so so pretty i didn't apply too much because i just wanted a little bit of dimension but not a whole lot you know what i mean so for shimmer either i'm going with the boogeyman or should we go with this green i actually did apply that already and i do really enjoy it or maybe should we go with the hoya benchu or the huska castle i don't even know actually you know what why don't we go with this color scheme and then we decide to go with this boogeyman and apply that right in the center i don't want to apply a whole lot but i'm gonna go really nicely in the center oh such a pretty beautiful neutral look with a little bit of dimension that has some layers to it i'm gonna finish off this other eye my face and then come back to finish the bottom lash so let's finish this eye look i'm actually gonna wear this eye look to a class that i'm going to tonight in a couple of hours or less than that i think in an hour i don't know um i the only thing i know is that i need to hurry <laughs> and finish this eye look so i think i want to add a little bit something in this area something that it can bring a little bit of sparkle in there um the only thing yeah i think that's what is missing from here something like a like a like a sparkly white or something lighter the only thing that i have is this hoya bachu forest and I'm going to try to add a little bit of this under and see how that's going to look like. It doesn't look too bad. So I'm just going to add a little bit of this in here. Yeah, I like how that looks. So I'm going to take the same and I'm going to try to put this in my inner corner. Yeah, I was worried about nothing. This actually looks pretty nice in the inner corner. I thought this is not going to look that great. I thought it's going to be too dark, but it's not. It's actually the right, the right color that I needed. Interesting. Now let's see for under the eye. I'm thinking I want to go, definitely I want to go with the Spandau Citadel, whatever it's called, 
and I'm going to add this right here, drag it nicely. And then I think I'm just going to add a little bit of the Frankenstein color as well. And just kind of make it look similar to what we have on top. And I'm going to take the back of this and just kind of blend a little bit this sparkly shade and everything together. Because I do like the intensity of this sparkly shade, but I do not want it all that intense not for my class you know what i mean so you know this is how intense it looks but if you blend it out this is how it kind of blends out so this is the difference between the two but if you want it more intense you can totally do that i'm gonna add just a tiny bit more on this side just to kind of you know but not a whole lot Okay, here is the final look, and this is how it looks like. All right, so after I tried this eyeshadow palette for three times, it's been the third time I've been playing with this eyeshadow palette, I have to say I really do enjoy it. Um, the mattes are really nice and blendable. The shimmers are powerful not very powerful but if you blend them it can lose a little bit of the intensity but i do like the matte i do like the deep brown and all that i do have to say the darker shades are a little bit a little bit harder to blend but not by much it's still really easy to blend them but not as easy as it was that brown and that orange that we put on today um i think the shimmers are really nice and even this thing that I put it in my inner corner and a little bit above the under the brow bone it's really nice I thought it's gonna need it uh, something a little bit lighter is needed but I think that covers it for me personally could be for somebody that has a lighter skin tone that could be a little bit of a problem but you can easily grab any highlighter or anything like that that if you want to add a little some something to illuminate your eyes in the inner corner i do really enjoy this eyeshadow palette i think it is worth the money and uh, i think uh, nomad cosmetics is a really nice brand that you should uh, you should put your hands on it it is not necessarily the most memorable um formula but it's a really good formula that um definitely you can play with and i really enjoyed the theme of this eyeshadow palette that was one of the reason why i picked it up that is it for today i gotta go to school i will see you all next time and thank you so much for watching bye now